Hey, what's up guys? Just finished week three of my boot camp, uh, WDI with General Assembly. And here's what we went over this week. Day one, Bootstrap, Ajax, and Jason. Day two, Express and more practice with Node, as we touched on it briefly last week. Day two also had uh, our first app was built. Day three, Interpolating and Templating. We also went over more Express, Node, and introduced Underscore as libraries for JavaScript on the back end. And we actually made our first working app to conclude uh, those three days. Day four, then we touched on Mongo database as we jumped more into the database side of front end development. We continued working on building apps and we also refactored our code using the DB that we learned. Day five, Friday, we reviewed and we started our weekend lab, which was refactoring the app with MongoDB. This was on our own. Um, day four on Thursday, we did it with instructor's help, and then day five, we had to do it on our own. Uh, this week was extremely difficult. Uh, as you saw on day one, two, and three, we covered a lot of material, and this was a lot of new stuff for us. If you didn't have a background in computer science, which I don't, um, it could be a little overwhelming, as the whole idea of client side and server side was very new to us. Um, so it was all new material as well as uh, it was kind of an overwhelming feeling. So that made it really difficult. Homework was really difficult, um, but we were able to use our notes throughout the class, um, which helped a lot. So this is the first time I think most of the classes felt really overwhelmed. I think the instructors do that on purpose um, because what I'm finding is that since we're all overwhelmed, we spend a lot of time and a lot of energy towards finding the solution. And I think for these boot camps to work, you can't go at a snail's pace and ensure that everyone fully understands it day by day. Um, so this week was really spent overwhelming us with material. However, we became, uh, we became, I guess, familiar with it by about week, or excuse me, day two or day three of the week. So that by the end of the week, we started seeing how pieces went together, which was really important because with this being, speaking to the database and the backside, with using front end technologies like JavaScript, this is in a sense building out applications and this is the whole process. Um, so becoming familiar with this will take time and I think they know that and because of that they want to overwhelm us at first and they kind of force us into working really hard or else we'll get too swamped. So I'm actually kind of appreciative of that even though at times I felt really down in the dumps as well as uh, most of my classmates. I think this week was really, really uh, important for getting used to the overwhelming feeling that these boot camps bring about. The important thing is that you know that you don't completely understand everything and that you'll do your best and spend a lot of time fully covering the material on your own in addition to the lectures in class. Um, so it's important that you work really hard and try to learn the stuff on your own in your own time so that you can get ahead um, because we just briefly touch on the material during class so that we can get an idea of how it works but actually implementing it on our own is a whole different animal uh, so it makes it really difficult. This weekend I haven't really spent too much time doing the project. Um, it's important that you do the homework every night but there's also an importance on actually understanding the material and since I'm kind of struggling this week with fully understanding the material then I'm going back and watching YouTube tutorials watching YouTube videos and researching every little bit of our work during the week and ensuring that I fully understand the material because moving forward it's only going to stack together. Um, so it'll be very important that I have the basics down. This Node and Express is all new to me and the idea of implementing back-end servers and databases with front-end technology is something that's new to me and is definitely overwhelming. I would say two-thirds of the class is pretty overwhelmed. Uh, there are a few people in the class who have computer science backgrounds or worked in tech for about 10 years, so they are adapting pretty quickly. And it was overwhelming for maybe a day, but then they fully understand it. These are really good students, and hopefully if any of you guys do a coding boot camp down the road, you pick up on the three or four people that are really good at this stuff and um, use them as a resource because they will hopefully be really glad to help. And they could uh, be a big help to you when the instructors aren't around. Um, so I'm thankful for the two or three guys in class that are really good at this. Um, they've caught on really quickly, but they can help uh, help you out on like little things in your code or in your uh, just your workflow and ensuring that you can get up to par with them, uh, which will be important moving forward as we're only three weeks in. Um, so if you're getting kind of swamped at this point, it's going to be difficult since everything adds on to each other. This week's career coach was great. 
Um, we went over LinkedIn and that is something that's really important as this is a new industry for all of us and we'll start to uh, make connections here shortly in the industry and that will be really important when it comes to getting a job. A few tidbits that she went over that were really important were to include the technologies used in each project um, on the LinkedIn so that when recruiters see it on your uh, each section they can see which technologies were used on which projects so that managers down the road can see which languages you have experience with and which ones that they know when they hire you that you'll be able to implement from day one. So that was really important. We also changed the personal URL on LinkedIn so that you don't have a big string of random letters and numbers. It's actually your name at the end of LinkedIn. Something really minor, but it's, it'll be easy to pass along. Uh, we also went over um, little things that you can correct on LinkedIn that will be really helpful in the long run. Um, making your LinkedIn really, really, really good looking is going to be important and uh, we're thankful for that help that she provided. I'm really excited that we're building our first app uh, already three weeks into the course. With it being a 12 week course, I fully expected us to get this part of the course um, probably week 8, 9, or 10 near the end. However, building our first app is kind of why we're here and doing this boot camp. So building it week three is pretty exciting. The TAs and the evening TAs aren't familiar with MongoDB and the database stuff. They weren't able to touch on it in their course, so I have a feeling that we're going faster than the other instances. And I think this is simply because each cohort is more experienced on the instructors and the curriculum, so they're able to improve. Um, so I think we're actually doing really well, and since we're going so fast, we're able to couple, excuse me, cover so much material, which in the end will help us all out. Um, but we have a fully building app. It's not the prettiest thing just yet, but that is secondary to the logic portion of it using JavaScript and Node and Express. Um, so once you get the logic down, then you can go over the CSS and make it look really pretty, which will happen in your free time. Um, but I'm really excited. This is really cool. And that's your week three recap.